<laughs> Come on, the old mate. Uh, who's calling, guys? It's not a game of cricket without some healthy sledging and banter. The young blokes will beat them. That's the arrogance of youth. You know how it is. Indigenous cricketing greats like Ian Redpath and Peter Lake are taking on some up and coming talent. The man who scored the fastest century at the MCG, territory politician Ken Vowles, also returned to the pitch up against his son. Yeah, you always want to do better than the old man, so hopefully I can do it. Wish granted, the young side won by 67 runs in the 20-over eight-side game, a format tipped to revolutionise Indigenous cricket in the Territory. Two-hour game, it's all big hitting, short overs. It's something that the young Indigenous kids can enjoy. This format of cricket provides opportunity to grass, grassroots and um, community-based people. And another way to engage kids in remote Indigenous communities. Get them doing other, you know, playing sport or doing other things other than some bad things. Sport is a great thing to deal with some of those, uh, those real difficult social issues and there's no reason why cricket shouldn't be part of that. International Cricket League Last Man Stands has spread this concept throughout Australia and five other countries and is bringing Indigenous cricketers into the fold. The global element of this competition really increase the possibilities for young talent to come through. Some of these guys will make up a dream team, putting them on the path to an international competition in Barbados next year, taking with them the skills and Indigenous culture developed here in the Territory. Catherine Gregory, ABC News.